everyone, welcome back to my channel. My birthday is this week and I have bought myself a birthday present. As you can see, this is from eBay. Inside this box is the My Little Pony G3 Celebration Castle with a ton of accessories. I have a small My Little Pony collection and it's something I've been wanting to grow for some time now and I've decided I really want to focus on collecting G3 or Generation 3 ponies. And when I saw this castle, I knew it was something that I just had to have and I've, I've been looking for one that's in good shape. This was a buy it now listing. I paid around $30 for the actual lot itself and then it was another $30 to ship it. So 60 USD. As you can kind of tell, it didn't have the smoothest trip to my house, so I am a little worried as the box was quite crushed, but I mean, only time will tell, I guess, if, if anything is damaged on the inside. And there's a lot of bubble wrap, so hopefully that means that everything survived. I guess I'll just start pulling stuff out. My hair's getting caught in the tape. Oh, I guess I, I also should have mentioned, I did ask the seller if there was any sun damage and if it was from a smoke-free home because sun damage was really important to me and I couldn't quite tell in the photos if there were any sun damage. Oh, I asked about cracks too and it was no. No sun damage, no cracks, and from a smoke-free home. Look at these adorable accessories. This was one of the bags you really couldn't tell from the photos what was inside of it. Some of this is gonna need a real good bath, but that's only to be expected. And then here are all the ponies. Oh my goodness. Here's some furniture for the castle. And here is the actual castle itself. You can kind of see a little bit of what it looks like through the bubbles. Here is our castle. There are a lot of scuff marks on this, which is totally fine. It was used. It was something that someone had played when, when they were younger. And I think I'm seeing some sun damage. I don't know if you can see it too well, but this right here is discolored. This right here, sun damage. It, it looks like this was probably propped up against a window and the sun was hitting it right here on the top. I've got to be honest, I'm I'm disappointed. I'm not disappointed with like the specific items that I got. I'm just really disappointed with this castle because there is sun damage and there's like the more I look at it, the more sun damage I find. Um, you can't quite see it on camera just because you're so far away. I'm going to try to clean this up and get more pictures of it. But this archway is is all yellowed from the sun. And it's, like I said, the top is all yellowed from the sun. It's, it's not good. If there was sun damage on this, I would not have bought it at all. Um, a lot of these uh, doll houses and play sets that I've seen secondhand, they have a lot of sun damage just because of how they were stored in kids' rooms um, where they were exposed to the sun. And that's totally fine to have a toy in your collection that's sun damaged, but me personally, I specifically seek out ones that are not because I just hate the way it looks. And uh, sometimes you really can't make it look any better. But enough of that for now. It's time for lights and sound. See if we can get this working. There are exploded batteries in here. Like really exploded batteries, but I, I will take this part as my fault because I didn't ask. I'm never going to finish this video. I'm going to go find some something to deal with this and then I'll be back in a second. The center battery was fine. The two outside batteries had burst and corroded around the battery contact. I've done my best to clean it without taking the toy apart. It's it's pretty bad still. Um, they're they're rusted. They're corroded. We're still gonna try it. Now at at this point, I don't know if I want to keep this. I'm loving everything that I got. Like, what a cool addition to my collection all this would be. But 
this castle is really disappointing me still. But let's give some new batteries a try. It's a no-go. I don't know if you can hear. So these ponies have a magnet in their hoof and there's a heart that they're supposed to step on and there's like a magnetic latch that it's supposed to trigger lights and sound on here. But I was originally planning on opening all these bags with you all on camera so we could see the different ponies and accessories that I got. But now that I know the state of the castle, I'm thinking it might be better if they stay in their bags because I don't really know if the castle will be staying here. <laughs> but thank you all so much for joining me today. And thank you for being a part of this experience, I guess we could call it. I started collecting My Little Pony, I believe it was the end of 2019 or the beginning of 2020. Um, so My Little Pony just played a really big part of my life these past couple years, um, especially dealing with everything that's going on in the world. So I'm really excited to keep expanding my collection and I definitely want to still um, continue to make videos about My Little Pony collecting, but I just don't know if this piece is where we're gonna start. Today is March 14th, so it's been over two months since I unboxed the My Little Pony lot. And the big update is that it is still here. I did decide to keep the lot after all. Here's a closer look at all of the accessories. So for our ponies, we have Flippity Flop, Blossom Forth, Loop De La, Wisteria Bowtie, who I absolutely love, Serendipity, Island Tropical, I think this is, or Island Rainbow, and then Lily Flower. There's also four McDonald's G3, as well as three 3.5. Then the most exciting thing As you can see, I was able to get the lights and sound to work, which makes me so happy. I think that is such a cool feature. But as far as the inaccurate description with all the discoloring, I communicated with the seller a little bit, but nothing really came of it. The seller offered me a small refund. I think it was like six or seven dollars, and I personally didn't think that was enough. So they offered to let me return it, and I didn't really want to do that, so I decided to keep it. Since I unboxed these ponies back in January, I really haven't done anything with them. I had lots of plans to clean the castle up and to fix some of the hair disasters that are going on here, but I just haven't had time. So I think I'd like to spend some time today getting this cleaned up and getting it upstairs on my shelf to display it. Because one of the plus sides of having a sun damaged item is that you can display it in the sun without having to feel guilty. Here is my little collector nook in our temporary bedroom. So off to the left hand side here is where I have some of my G4 and 5 items. This is not all that I have. Uh, I have some in storage. These are just my favorite pieces. And then over here is where I put the castle. Hi. Do you want to be a part of all the action? Yeah? Okay, so. On this side, we have Sunny Days, uh, Princess Peppermint, Blue Banjo, hi Haku, and uh, Pretty Parasol that are from a different lot. I got those four before the pandemic. So from the lot that I just unboxed, we have a bow tie up here who her hair still needs some help. And then Flippity Flop. The rest of the ponies from the eBay lot are going into storage until I have time to fix up their hair and make them look a little bit nicer. Plus, I don't really have uh, very much display room here in our temporary bedroom, so, so I'm just sticking to a few ponies for in here. And then front and center, we have my super long hair rarity, which is my favorite G3 pony that I have. She is the it girl of this group, which is why she gets to be front and center. First thing you see when you walk into my bedroom. 
Lastly, on the end here is my Divine Shine Secret Wish Pony. I love the Divine Shine ponies, but she's actually the only one I have of the four. I would like to track down the other three so they can go in these spots here. And she is actually the very first My Little Pony that I like specifically bought for a collection or to, you know, to start a collection. I think I got her, I don't know, it was a few years ago now, but... She's one of my favorites, and I've never done anything with her hair because I've always been too scared to style it, but she she might be due for a makeover soon. For now, this is all I'm going to keep up here. Hopefully, once we finish our remodel, I'll have a space where I can really spread things out and I can show off more of my ponies, but until then, they are safe in storage. And again, super long hair rarity. She is our it girl. She does not do any work. She is truly a princess. So Flippity Flop is the designated keeper of the sounds. Thank you all so much for joining me today for this eBay unboxing and update, a video that's definitely been a long time in the making. If you are also a My Little Pony collector but have been watching my channel for Tamagotchi, let me know in the comments below. I would love to connect with you all on a pony level and I'm super excited to get to share more pony content in the future. As always, you can also find me on Discord and Instagram. All my links are in the description box below. Again, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in my next video.